What's up guys and welcome back to Damn That sucks Yeah, I wish I could get a bit louder 189.16 Let's get going, Peggy. Alrighty, we could run another segment or... Scratch that for us. We have a caller. Yeah, I heard. I heard. Um... You're through to 189.16, The Scream. What's your emergency? Hello again, Forrest. Oh, that call with the teens was Oh, it's awful. dawn. Those poor kids. Still, I'm, I'm glad the girl didn't get hurt. Thanks for your concern. Are you in trouble? What's on your mind? I wanted to ask you again to play my song, Forrest. You said you were gonna play it, but you didn't. Your name was Dawn, right? What, Peggy? Yes. Oh, well remembered. My name is Dawn, and I wanted to ask you again to play my tune, Forrest. Long Ride Home? You know, the one that Peggy said she threw outside the window? <laughs> You must really love that song, if you're calling up to ask for it when you know we don't have it. Well, I, I do love it, and I don't want to argue, but you do have it. It's just outside the window. There's a serial killer on the loose. That's I, I can't just go outside hunting for a record. I'm really sorry, Don, but we just can't get it right now. But wasn't the whistling man just at the old murder house? That's miles from the station. It won't take you a second to... Crap it. Don, I'm not sure if you've heard, but there's... I think there's two of them. Something unnatural about this freak. He's he's fast. I'm not risking it. Oh, but I think you will. Forrest? Peggy, I'm... I'm calling with more than a request. I know something. I think I know who's gonna be next. What? Are you serious? Play my song, Forrest. Find out. Well, folks, here's some music for you while I think things over. Damn. Uh... Here we go. You're going to love this next track. Is she serious, Peggy? She's serious about hearing that song, that's for sure. Peggy, I mean, is she serious about... I don't know, Forrest, but we don't really have a choice, do we? If she's telling the truth... All right, I'll do it. You're a good man, Forrest. Might as well not argue. I'll slide you the key to the fire door. <laughs> wait, wait, our fire door has to be unlocked? Yeah, it... Uh, you know, I never thought about it, but, yeah. We should talk to Reggie about that later. Anyway, I'll hold the fort down Dude, while you're out. Reggie sucks. Maybe I'll even get a caller. That could be exciting. 189.16. The screw With me, Peggy. Dude, I think it was two of them, because one of them unlocked the other one, like, he was stuck in a vault, right? And then he got outside of that vault, so I think there's, like, two of them. Uh, misclick. But yeah, I think it was two of them. Because one helped the other one. Outside of the vault. And then he's, like, all over town when he shouldn't be. That's my life. That's disgusting. I really don't like this. You know, I hope she'll be happy when I'm brutally murdered by the whistling man out here in the open alone. There's the whistling man. Here it is. Long ride home. Mm. 
Now, am I going to be attacked? No, not when am I? I guess I should say, yeah, when, because not if I'm going to be attacked, I'm definitely going to be attacked. I think everything got locked up, dude. L. That's a waste of a supply crate. 70. Uh, I heard somebody scream. I found a fuse. Wow, that's confusing. <laughs> Just another one. Found another fuse. Confusing. See, I think there's two whistling men, because they're, like, all over this place. They have no white they, should, they uh, should be. But they are. They're, like, all over this place, so. Like, they'll cross towns. So. You know. The fact that he's going across town that fast, I think there's two of them. Just saying. Ah, uh, wait. Why am I doing this? I don't know why I'm doing this. Five for achievement. Let me in. Yeah, I did for an achievement. Oof. Wait. Of course. It locks behind me. There's no door knob. And of course the key doesn't work on this side. There is no door Fantastic. knob. Fantastic. Maybe there's another way back in through the basement. A, a door elevator or something I could probably survive that fall wait I found another fuse why why the multiple fuses here's another one there's two other fuses Cool. Yeah, there's four other fuses right here. What the hell? Okay. Secrets? No. Copper. Looks like the janitor's closet. What did Peggy say his name was? Clive? Yeah. Yeah. Very pink. Lots of beer cans. Hmm. I wonder how the show's going. God, please let this be the last locked door. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose it. Dude. Must have missed something. God, that sensitivity in this is insane. That camera? I don't know what that is. Nothing. Ooh. That's crazy, man. Got a mop. 
Oh. Close. No, no, no. Keep close this. What the hell? Peggy is not going to believe this. Is that ludicrous? <laughs> Looks familiar. Oh, you should not point at this. Wait. What's the hiding spot, I guess? This guy's crazy. There's a lot of stuff. Yes. So I don't know who these people are. That's cool. Hmm. Well, that's a lot of detail. <laughs> Big wheel breaks free. Injured. Two, four, th okay. Oh my god. Game day. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm supposed to look at all this? Beep boop, look out. Tr tragedy. Five dead, 16 injured. After Blake's fail on bus. Ooh, I don't know. I'm gonna get jump scale. No, not yet. Jump scale, no. A red one. Never seen a red one before, they're always usually yellow. Uh, of course. I got the key, didn't I? Am I supposed to do something else? The beautiful key. I feel I weird. Be able to get back to the studio now. Why do I feel weird? Huh. Yes. Why'd the mop move? I need a key to get in there. I don't like this. The mop move. Somebody else is in here, I'm gonna be honest. The mop moved. Fire. 
make sure nobody's hiding, because I swear that mop moved. Hmm. Hmm. I'm done looking. safe though. I honestly do not feel safe. Not getting in there tonight. Isn't that such a good song, folks? And now for... Jesus, Forrest, you've been gone for ages. I thought something had happened. Something did happen. Clive, the janitor? Might be Clive the murderer. Dun dun dun. Cut. Start from the beginning. The, the fire door. Hmm. Do forty. Okay. Why did you heave that thing all the way up here? Uh, because the basement's creepy as hell, and oh. I don't like standing around down there. Fair. All right. Let's run through this again. We have a creepy board you found mm -hmm. in a creepy basement uh -huh. made by our creepy janitor. Yes. Who you think is the creepy whistling man. Yes. Yep. And on the creepy board are the names Chuck Brody, mm -hmm. Kim Walker, yeah. Rebecca Allen, and yes. Aunt Williams. Yeah, correct. And you think one of these people will be the whistling man's Clive's next target. That's right. Yeah. And we've got to find them. You said there are four locations listed there too? The hospital, the power mm -hmm. station, the gas station, and the trailer park. Clive must think the target is at one of those locations. Forrest, you're gonna have to figure out if any of the potential targets are at one of these locations tonight. Hit the button if you need any help. This is trash. Okay, so hopefully that makes Dawn happy. Uh, game day. So, okay, I see. I'm gonna take that. So, that, that's clearly Chuck. Um,. I just need to figure out who's who. This is also Chuck, but <sighs> former Gallows Hyper Paul Captain Chuck Bailey suffered a career-ending injury as a victim of a festival of last year. To help him on his road to recovery, we are buying him some lottery tickets. Hopefully, he gets lucky and can go back on his feet. Unintended. So that's also Chuck. Chuck. Okay. So. Why? That's definitely Chuck. Um. Ba ba ba. That has to be Chuck. Wait, who's this? Crime. Ooh. People, police have today. Oh my god. I'm so confused what I'm looking at. What's that? Power station. Trailer Park Hospital gas station. Police have today finally put an end to the long running car team and crime syndicate. He has less been made after a member. Okay, but that's not giving me any hint. R A.
R A. Boom. Power station has 20 new staff. It's not helping. Uh, uh tragedy shot. Most of the afternoon, I must fail to stop and push into a fuel tank. Uh, okay. Ask for privacy for the families. Okay. Is there an AW anywhere? Oh, shit. Uh. Yeah, that's really confusing. I'll, I'll get back to that, though. I need to, like, get some more bailing on this entire thing. Justice for festival victims has concluded when two engineers local um, that work the local power station Annie Willis which is okay or move okay so and so I don't know if you're Chuck or if you're Herb I'm gonna say for her right now because I got more on Chuck boom uh to a happy couple okay so Kim is married that's cool wait Wait. Stein. Stein. So. P. Stein. Right? Boom. Oh my god, I can't do this. Do you care about health and safety? Uh, come down. Ba -ba. For, uh, okay, so that's I got like nothing on her. <sighs> Power station. Boom. Local leaks take to Manhattan. A local legend takes Manhattan. I have a car thief. Okay, so car thief, that has to be her. Sold to a man who won the lottery 14 years ago. Okay. I got the Chuck. So I think she's all good down there. I think I got a <sighs> shit. K Walker. Flu shots. Okay, flu. Boom. Wait, wasn't those? Hmm. Uh, car, car, that I lose you. And who are you? Uh, I'm sick of being a local celebrity. People are so mean to me. I only stole a few cars. Okay. So you're gone. You're gone. Oh wait, I need to do this. Gas station. That's shuck. Shit. Okay. Hmm. I don't 
get it. Power station is her. And then I got trailer park and hospital. What's not freaking helping me? I'm, I'm guessing. Boom. Boom. Okay. Uh. Okay, so. She's gone. Right here. So, Rebecca's gone. And I think Kim's either dead or gone, which leaves her and Chuck. Hmm, it's not very specific. Mm. I don't know. It's it's either between Chuck and Annie. I'll guess. How's it going? ready, Peggy. Are you sure? We've only got one shot at this. I'm sure. Let's do this. Okay. Name first. Who do you think the target is? I see the Chuck or Ant. Uh, the other ones are either dead or they or they're gone or they left. I don't know. Chuck. Chuck Brody. And where will I find them? I remember, I remember, it's the, uh, gas station. The gas station. Okay, I'm dialing. One moment. Okay, turn this off. Oh. Chuck Brody! Listen, I know this sounds crazy, but we have reason to believe the Whistling Man is coming for you. You need to get yourself and everyone else out right now. The Whistling Man? Who the hell are you? Who is this? This is Forrest Nash. Listen, the Whistling Man's back. We found a list with your name on it and... Oh, God. It's today. The year I finally let myself forget. I... One. Quit talking and run! I... I think he ran off. Good. Well, fingers crossed that Chuck... Ah! Jeez! Damn. It sounds like something blew up. He's using bombs now? I... I... Is Chuck? I don't know. Hang on. We're getting a call. Chuck's definitely dead. Hello? Chuck? Chuck! An explosive escape. The whole goddamn gas station's got up. Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. I got everyone to follow me out. The town's only ambulance was blown to hell, though. Yeah. Damn it, that fireball threw me. I got to get to the hospital. You're a football player, you're good. I'm not feeling great. Forrest, man. I can't thank you enough, but... Yeah. I gotta go. Wait, I... Damn it. We lost him. What was that about today? Oh, Forrest, the call board is lighting up. Get us into some music while I deal with this. Careful with this next track, listeners. It's dynamite. <laughs> Forrest! <laughs> A classic back by popular demand. This is Long Ride Home by the Barn Finds. Gas station. How far is the gas station from me, though? Uh, gas station. There's gotta be more in the basement to show us who Clive is targeting. And if that's the case, we can get ahead of him. Stop the killings before they can happen. Forrest, 
We need to go back down. By we, you mean me? Is that right. it? Yep. Like I said, I need to handle all these calls. Maybe start with that creepy mannequin room you mentioned before. I still have a lot of questions about those, by yeah, the way. Yeah, but I'm not going to go back down there. So, here we are. Gas station is over there. The fact that I heard from all the way over here means he was using some heavy stuff. To be honest. This kill is unhinged. But why does this thing keep closing? I hate it. Daddy's back. Damn. Okay. Pointing up. Hmm. The oh. key. Was this always here? I must have missed it when I brought everything upstairs. You're dumb. Taking a weapon. Hey, Forrest. Peggy, give me some warning before yelling down the intercom. Sorry. Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. No. Peggy, I've found a tape and a map down here. A map of what? Looks like it might be to somewhere in this storage area. Weird. Well, maybe the tape will give us more information. Give it a play. Where am I supposed to play this at? E. Flies. I don't want that fly, let's be honest. Coffee mark down here. Um. Trash? There's nothing down here to play it on. Cool. But what am I supposed to play this at? There's no way out. Unless I'm blind. Uh, Peggy, there's no to play it at. Forrest, you should listen to that first tape you found. But... <laughs> there's like... Okay. That looks like in there. Ah. Uh, shoot. Found alcohol, I guess. So, I lost the tape. Oh my god, am I dumb? No, there it is. Put you right here. But what am I supposed to listen to? Listen to Oh my god, there's nothing I need to listen to it with. Do I have to come all the way back up? No. I'm 
supposed to listen to this at? Oh, that's stupid. There's no way to listen to it. Ooh, there's a tour. Charlotte, who even thinks about Charlotte? Let's be honest. Same thing with Sand. Oh, wait, hold on. Ooh. But there's, there's no way to listen to this tape at. Unless I'm dumb. Is that? Is that a gun clip? Wait, no, that's that's part of the freaking table. Nope. Where'd the tape go? I put the tape right here. What the hell? Baby oil? But well, there's a mouse problem around here. Yes. Click. I should put this in at. Can't leave. There's. Forrest, you should listen to that first tape you found. Forrest, you should listen to that first well. tape. Well. There's no way to listen to it. I'm gonna destroy this place looking for it. Hmm. Did I did it just not spawn in for me or something? It's none of these machines, and where's the tape at? It keeps like despawning, right? Okay. I'm gonna put the tape over here, and let's, let's see it despawn. Wait, no way this is it. There's no way this is it. God, I feel dumb. George Bell, 1968. That's when this all began for me. Follow the maps, find the tapes. I'll be waiting. Wait, George Barrow? We all think yeah. that he drowned after a night out drinking. Was it actually Clive? Has Clive really been the whistling man for that long? He says I need to follow the maps and find the tapes. I guess that's what this map is about. That's a picture on a map. I think we need to see what else is hidden down here. Be careful, Forrest. Keep looking. Buzz the intercom when you found something. Hmm. Great, I found something. Time of autopsy is 7 a.m. Cause of death is asphyxiation from drowning. The degree of rigor mortis indicates that the subject has been deceased for five hours. That puts the time of death. Well, this is creepy. Oh. That's not it. I hate that. Someone's down here with me. They have to be. There's no way they're not, right? I'll look at that later. Small lacerations to arms, legs, this looks useful. 
typically obtained by running through foliage. Severe blistering to the feet. As though the deceased had been running without stopping. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Let's play. Hmm, the sheriff did something. Looks like next to a green wall and some shelves. Oh. I hate this. No, that's not it. It's a shelf, dude. This is a room full of shelves. I don't think that's it. Well, that's back at the beginning. It's a great place to hide. That's not it. Oh, it fell. Must have. No, I think it's over here, I'm pretty sure. Damn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, it's just showing me. They should be showing me a thing with a bunch of shelves. Not very good at details, are we, bud? That's not it. Wait, actually. That is it. results shows no signs of inebriation. However, a high amount of cortisol was found, cool. indicating elevated levels of stress in the immediate moments before death. I mean, not cool. That's not cool. It's like a dead dude, so it's not cool. Cabinets. I don't know what the freak that is. This shit's a maze. Oh wait, I should probably read this. 
Because for all I know, this could be very interesting. Ooh, never mind. That gives me the address. That's cool. Dude. I am not going to find this. Uh, no. Oh, you listen to this one. Additionally, yeah. There appears to be oh my god, it's right here. I am dumb. It is the coroner's opinion that the subject likely this failed for his important. life and was chased, resulting in a fall from a height into a body of water yeah. where he hit his head, was knocked out, and drowned. Following that, he was moved. Dr. Sullivan, we need to have a talk. Is that recording? Just picked up. So here we go. Finally, moving to the end of this insane maze. If you're listening to this, then I'm probably dead. What? I'm a man who likes to stay informed. I've got subscriptions to newspapers all over the country. A few weeks ago. I noticed headlines cropping up in those papers. Ooh, a new vinyl for my collection. Each headline about a murder. Each murder, the death of someone I knew almost 20 years ago. And each one drawing closer to Gallows Creek. Drawing closer to the anniversary. None of us are innocent. But I don't think we deserve killing. All I hope now is that I can save some folk from the worst that I can. I don't know. Do something to make up for what I did back then, I guess. I didn't kill anyone, mind you. But that's past mattering. Now, there's more I could say than I should say. But my employer made it clear that my family would pay a high price if I ever spoke out. So, hopefully I've said enough for you, listener, whoever the hell you are, to start putting the truth together. What the hell? Peggy is not going to believe this. Most likely. Now you get out of this creepy... Why is that pink? Creepy basement. My god. Oh, coat rack. That's nice. What have you found, Forrest? It's an autopsy tape. Doesn't say for who, but... I think it must be for George. Poor George. He was so young. Something's bugging me, Peggy. What do you mean? I swear I recognize the voice of the woman talking on the tape. I just can't place it. Seriously? Do you think you've met her before? I don't know. I mean, Maybe. I just got here recently. I don't know. Found another tape that talks more about how George died. What did it say? It sounds like he was running for his life. Sprinting through trees and bushes, getting cut up all over. Damn. What would drive someone to do that? I'm not sure yet. Being There's chased? There's also a tape about a toxicology report. There were no signs of drinking or that he was on anything. What? But everyone said he went swimming drunk and drowned. It was in the newspaper and everything. I found a written autopsy report. What does it say? 
According to that, it's just like you said at the start. George drowned after getting drunk. Said he liked to fight, too. But that contradicts the tape. I know. Yeah. And I think I know why. There's a note with a report that says, I'm sorry I made you do this, Virginia. If it was on the autopsy report, then Virginia must be our coroner. Damn. Wait, the caller from earlier, when we had to call the takeout restaurant, wasn't her name Virginia? Yeah, maybe. We need to call her back once we finish down here. It, it looks like she might know something about what's going on. I found a tape that introduces a new detail to the story. Post-mortem injury. Apparently, his arm got caught in a car door. A car door? Yeah, after he died. How do you suppose they can tell? How can they tell? I'm a radio producer, not a coroner. Facts. Hmm. The written report I found doesn't mention it at all. How did his arm get trapped in a car door after he died? Unless he got it when the police collected his body. I guess someone else must have moved it after he was dead to where he was eventually found. But the report, what is going on here? You don't know. I found a police report. Mentions a friend from earlier, Sandra Sharp. Sandra, the jazz runner? That's right. She found George's body washed up at the reservoir. The reservoir? Yeah. What's strange about that? George got cuts from running through foliage, right? But there's no forest around there. Also, how did it wash up at the reservoir? What do you mean? Reservoirs don't have tides. But that's what the police report said. It's not possible, though. I did a school project on reservoirs and got an A. Good job. But, yeah, not important right now. The important thing is that it doesn't make sense. What are you suggesting, then? That the body was originally found somewhere other than what the report suggests. That the sheriff tried to cover it up, but accidentally let something slip? Something like that. I think. Well, Sheriff Matthews wrote the report. If he hadn't been eviscerated, we could have asked him. True. But Sandra is still alive. Once we're done down here, we should give her a call. In another tape, the coroner comes to the same conclusion as I did. George was running from something. Maybe an animal? Maybe, but then there's this next bit, where the coroner thinks he was moved post-death. So she agrees with us. At the end of the tape, someone burst in and demanded Virginia stop recording. I... I think it was Clive. This is starting to make sense now. This... This is a conspiracy to cover up what happened to George. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Come on. I think I found Clive's last recording. I think Clive might be gone. Gone? I found a confession. Not for any killings, but... For playing a part in covering up George's death. He left this behind in case he died. He hoped someone would find it. You... Do you think the Whistling Man already got him? Yeah. Possibly. We've had a lot of callers tonight, but... Maybe not every victim made it to the phone, you know? Damn, that's deep. That's really deep. We don't know deep. how many there really are. Christ, Forrest, that's dark. I know, but... Clive said he had read about other murders in other towns, and that the murders were all folks who knew about the incident. Damn. And the killings were getting closer to Gallows Creek. He said he wanted to do something good for once. The board in his office. He wasn't tracking people down to kill them. He was tracking them down to save them. Ugh, why didn't he just come out with all of this? Uh, he said his employer threatened his family if he spoke out about any of it. So he, he, they witch. The one who orchestrated the cover-up? They witch. Oh, Clive. I'm sorry for thinking you killed all those people. Do you, you think should. you found everything? I think so. Forrest, what's going on here? Something. Someone wanted that boy's death to seem like an accident. And they hired Clive to make it look that way. Come back upstairs when you're ready. We need to okay. figure out our next step. Watch your daughter. Watch your daughter. Boy, he, he helped us up, helped us out from beyond the grave. Thank God you're back, Forrest. I've been running out of stuff to pad our airtime with. Peggy, you work in radio. 
Forrest, I'm stressed. I mean, really. How are we supposed to keep a show going with all this happening? This is our job, Peggy. We gotta do it. Hell yeah. <sighs> You're right. So, what's the plan now? I think we should call Virginia back. All right, I'll get her on the line. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Okay, let's do that. Next video, like on Scott, you know. If you're screaming up, video will come to you. Please subscribe to my channel. Video. And peace out.